I'm Monica Poole and I'm here at So Easy talking to Elizabeth Wallace of Gadget Gurus. Now Elizabeth has created some fantastic new templates for quilters and um, I'm just going to get Elizabeth to tell us a little bit about the templates and the history of Gadget Gurus. Well I came up with these templates because there was a need for it. People kept asking me, um, have you got this shape, have you got that shape? So I thought, no there is a need. People do have lots of fabric these days and they want to use them. That's I'll right, definitely. Everybody wants to use up their stash, that's definitely, that's right. And um, how long have you been in the industry for, Elizabeth? 33 years. Oh, and so what have you been doing in the last 33 years then? <laughs> well, I started doing patchwork when, um, 33 years ago when I was having my daughter, my second daughter. Yes. And I just fell in love with it. And okay. 33, I feel I'm very lucky because after 33 years I've worked full time in this industry. Oh, it's a great industry too. Yes, That's I've right. met lots of lovely friends and lots of lovely people. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, so how did the Gadget Guru range come about? It came about because people kept saying, I've got all these two and a half inch strips and I don't know what to do with them. That's so true. So true. So yep. I thought, okay, we need some unusual shapes. Because okay, they did yeah. say they were tired of doing strip piecing. Okay, so I've come yeah. up with the Jelly Monster, which does half square triangles, diamonds. That's right. And you were saying that this um, this one yeah. actually does six different shapes. Yes, it does. Yeah. Six different shapes. So we've got those shapes here. And I called it the Jelly Monster because it looks like the Loch Ness Monster. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's so true. So true. And um, they're very handy tools to use. They just make cutting templates so easy, don't yes, they? So they just do. Just cutting your fabric, and yes. um, and so yeah. you use a rotary cutter with them. Use the twenty eight mm rotary cutter. Yeah. And I also make a point of using clear grip on the back of the rulers to stop them from slipping because you're working with angles. And that really does help. That's yes. so true. Mm -hmm. So tell us about which was the first template that you actually came up with. The twister square. That's the first one I came up. with. Oh, that's a that's a great template that mm. one. And so what does this one do? This one actually does the six and a half inch squares but with a twist. With a twist, that's right. Because you do get sick of sewing six and a, six and a half yeah, inch squares together all the time. Instant. That's right. And it's great for large prints too. Yes, which yes. is very good. Yes. So oh, makes it more interesting. That's right. And then what was the next one that you came up with? Then the next one I came up with was the Pinball Magic. I love this one. And this one I actually made thirteen years ago. It was did on you? the front cover of a magazine, oh, wow. which was great, but I did it the hard way. So I thought, I really loved that quilt, but it was just too hard. So that was where you like actually traced around a template yes. and cut it with scissors? Yes. Right. So I came up with this, we use a rotary cutter. Fantastic. Which is yeah. great. That's right. And that's the quilt that I have to say, it looks very complicated. We've got that one in the background here, and it really does look complicated, but it's not as complicated as what you no. think. There's no points to line up or anything like that. So It's just so squeezed together. It is. So is easy. Great. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then the next one? Then the next one was the jelly pointer. This one here. And I called it the jelly pointer because it looks like a dog and I, I couldn't call it the jelly dog. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> so that's I had true. to, I went through on the internet and looked up breeds of dogs and I came up with the German pointer. And it fits because the star's here. Because of that one there. And so what shapes can you get from the jelly pointer? You could get stars, hearts, pentagons, two sizes, two sizes in the oval. Oh, fantastic. And they really are great tools to use. Mm. They're, they're very good. And um, have you got anything else that you want to tell us about, um, you know, just in your journey of patchwork and quilting? So you've been teaching for a long time? Yes. That's right. So you really do have some experience behind you. Yes, I do. So, yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Um, well, I just have to say um, thank you so much, Elizabeth. And thank you for your great range of templates which have been brought out by So Easy. And we really do look forward to seeing some more great designs from you. Thank you. And thank you for your interest in the So Easy products. Oh. And all you need to do is go onto the YouTube and just type in So Easy. Oh, okay. So Easy. And then they'll get to see all of the different yes. products. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you.